The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 315. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yap Chan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She is a fitness enthusiast, and I'm just really excited to have her on and share her story with us on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Patricia Ramos. Patricia, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. Hello, everybody, and hello, Sheena. Thank you again for having me. My name is Patricia, and I am 23 years old. I'm from Manila, Philippines, and currently I am a writer and a photographer. Alongside that, I'm also a competitive bodybuilder and powerlifter. So my last competition was just this past August. It was in Hong Kong. It was the Arnold Classic Asia. That's basically it for my, my bio, I guess. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And that's cool that, you know, you're out there competing in, you know, fitness competitions. I know it's probably not common in the Philippines, Mm -hmm. but, you know, you're doing something that's totally like out of your comfort zone. So, you know, congrats to that. And, you know, what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? My favorite self-confidence quote would be, I do it because I can. I can because I want to. And I want to because you said I couldn't. The reason I like it, because it's both challenging and empowering for me. I like that it's like a threefold message. Like the first part is realizing that we can do anything we want to do within reason, of course. And then the next part is doing what we want because it makes us happy or it brings us satisfaction. It brings us like a form of fulfillment. And then the last part is, I guess that's the challenge for us. It's cha- it's the challenge to prove them wrong. So I like that it's like a threefold message. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And I like that quote, right? I mean, it starts with believing that we can do something. And, you know, having challenges isn't a bad thing. It's actually a good thing because it shows us what's possible within ourselves and how much stronger we are or than what we realize. So thanks for sharing that quote. And in your own words, how would you define self-confidence? My idea of self-confidence is just knowing your own capabilities, how to use them and how to help the people around and also being able to stand by them when you know in the face of adversity i think that's that's my idea of self-confidence thanks for sharing that and i like that you mentioned knowing your own capabilities because i think sometimes as women especially as asian women we forget our own like what we are capable of you know we've been so programmed to just think you know just have others think for us or have other people lay out our lives not realizing you know we are our own person We don't always have to second guess ourselves. And if we make a mistake, it's not the end of the world because whatever happens will always lead us to what we want in life. So, you know, I love that definition. And Patricia, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? Before I I discovered self-confidence, I guess you would say I was just coasting. I was neither here nor there. I dabbled in a lot of things, but never spent that much time on each one. So I was like a jack of all trades, but master of none. Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's something we all go through, right? We go through, like, we start so many different things, not finishing it, or we get, you know, we give up too easily because we think it's hard. Right. And it's not not that it's a bad thing. Sometimes we just don't know. We don't know what we want in life. And sometimes you might have to go through all that. But what was that point in your life when you realized, you know, you were, you know, the person that you are today where you had that confidence to just be you and do the things that you love? Like, what was that aha moment? My aha moment was when I actually met my boyfriend, Nico. So I don't want to credit him for everything because it's also self-discovery, but he did have a lot to do with acceptance that I never saw in anyone else aside from my family. Like He truly showed me that it's okay to do whatever you want. It's okay to try new things. It's okay to fail like horribly and as long as you get back up again. So for me, that was just a different kind of acceptance that I didn't see from anyone else. So when I felt that, I felt like I had the support I needed to finally, you know, just do things that I thought I couldn't do because I was holding myself back. But there was this just one conversation where he told me, if you want to do it, and you're not hurting anyone, and it makes you happy, just go for it. 
Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And sometimes it just takes one person to believe in our abilities to just be our cheerleader, you know, whatever happens, good or bad, there's just someone there who has your back. And sometimes one person can make a huge difference, can change your life. And, you know, because of this, plus with your self-discovery, what's your life been like now? After that, that's when I really threw myself into bodybuilding and powerlifting. Powerlifting is often seen as like a man's sport because it's strength training. You know, there's still this notion that women are not supposed to be strong or they're not supposed to have muscle or they're not supposed to, you know, like do these things that the men are supposed to do. And I personally have always disagreed with that. And in my gym at the time, I was the only one in the weights area. And that intimidated me because I felt like I wasn't supposed to be there. But when he came along, he showed me that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing that you're the only one. It's, it's a great thing. So after that discovery, I've just learned to put myself in situations where I may be uncomfortable at first, but I've tried to s- just stick through it and see where it brings me. And that's just been, that's just made a, a world of a difference. Like before, I would never think that I would be a, a, an international bikini competitor. But, you know, just by trying things, just by doing it, I ended up placing well. I I became the first junior bikini champion. And that, to me, that's just, just that's just something that I never even thought I could do. So what has life been after the discovery? It's been amazing. It's just been such an eye-opening experience. And I owe it all to, you know, him encouraging me to try new things and to just go for it. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, it's great that even though you were the only one in the weight room, it didn't scare you. In fact, it actually, you know, help you just go for it. Sometimes when we want to do something, we might be alone in this journey, but, you know, we can be that forefront, you know, the leader, the trendsetter, and people will follow along the way. They just need to see, like, one person do it and realize, like, they can do it and just, you know, follow suit. I'm sure, you know, you've probably inspired so many women out there to realize their own potential to go into a sport where they think it's just only for men, but really... It can be for anybody. So, you know, congrats to that. And especially, too, in the Philippines where there's just, like, the standard of what a woman should be, right? So, you know, I really, really think that's amazing. And, you know, to any woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey of self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? Um, The one tip I can give is to just do it even if people say you can't because you'll never know how far you can go unless you try. There's no telling what you do once you actually set your mind to it. So the first step is to just go for it. That's great advice. I mean, you know, it's so simple yet, you know, I know a lot of people out there get too scared because of what people say. And we have to remind ourselves that, you know, other people's opinions doesn't mean they're your opinions, right? They're just, they're just words. And sometimes we have to realize, like, they're just someone else's point of view, not yours. You can still go out there and do the things that you love. So, you know, great tip that you mentioned. And if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yes, if, you, if you're if you interested in knowing more about fitness and living a fit lifestyle with a flexible dieting point of view, please visit fitme.ph. So this is a flexible dieting blog wherein I talk about recipes, talk about simple tips that you can do in your everyday life to live a healthier and fit lifestyle. And also, please do follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at Little Miss Patricia. And if you would care to follow my boyfriend, who is, you know, a big part of my journey, his Instagram is at the fit one. Thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Patricia, you can also head on over to the TauSelfConfidence.com and search for Patricia's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just want to thank Patricia for taking the time to share her story with us and journey. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sheena. It was my pleasure and I wish you all the best. Not a problem. It was an honor having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Want to learn how you can use podcasting to market your business? Download your free report by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.